another posing tutorial and this time we're going to do a super dynamic sort of pose. That means it's an action pose. A dynamic pose means that uh, it's going to have at least some foreshortening and the hip line and the shoulder line will be tilted in opposite directions so that the pose will look um, I don't know how to describe it other than saying dynamic. I just keep saying that over and over and over. So let's start. The idea for this picture is to have a sort of cute girl warrior. You know all the frilly things the manga girl warriors wear while they take down gigantic monsters. And she's going to have this sword and she is either going to be swinging it, about to swing it, or just have swung it. So, let's start looking at that pose. Alright, I'm thinking of a sort of simple one. Uh, let's see how it would look if we have... Well, she'd have to be lower on the page, actually, but... Uh, where we have her jumping into the air with her legs folded beneath her and she's holding this sword high above her head as she prepares to swing it. So we'll just see how that looks real quick and see if we want to go with it. could be like this. And let's think about this sword movement. We have this angled like this, and the shoulders angled in that direction, so maybe she could be holding the sword off to her side. I think it would look better if her arms were straight out. That looks like she's using a lot of effort and there's going to be a very big swing. So, let's do that. With just a slight angle of the lower arm. Yeah, that has a lot more energy, so let's do it like this. So I have to erase this. And she's actually turned slightly away from us as she winds her body up for the big swing. So if this was 3D, we could draw it like this. And then we come down here, where we have the hips. And I think the foot would look better on the other side. So that's what I'm going to do. And a dramatic yell. Now let's fill in a little more here. Um, now, here's something I just wanted to mention because I just realized that it might not be totally clear. If you don't know how far to make the arm go out before it gets to the elbow, 
you can either measure with an existing mannequin like measure with a ruler or with your fingers or you can look at your own arm like just pause the drawing and have your own arm in the same position and see how far out your elbow goes so yeah after a while I think it'll get to be just instinct about it for this video. I hope it was helpful. There are actually a lot of different kinds of action poses and I'm probably going to be doing a lot more as I go on with my videos because I just love action manga. Lots of sword fights and jumping around but none of those slow scenes with talking and drama, you know? But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next video.